Welcome to the eLesson course for eFile attachments. My name is Steven and I work in the programming department. eFile attachments are any files that are selected by the user to be included with an electronic filing. Attachments can be selected during the eFile process or they can be set ahead of time. Some states ask for specific attachment types while others allow you to attach any type. Most ask for specific types, so we will discuss that first. It is important to note that in this setting, when we say attachment types, we are referring to what the attachment is for, not the actual file type. An example of a state that asks for specific attachment types is South Dakota. South Dakota wants to know if the file being attached is the state business page, the Schedule T, or a bail bond supplement among other things, so those are the types. Another example is Georgia. The state of Georgia wants any attachment included to differentiate which form it applies to. So the types are attachment for GID 12 and attachment for GID 13, etc. If the attachment is already attached to your attachment frame, select the file in the attachment frame and click the File Details button or right click on the file in the attachment frame and select File Details. If the attachment has not already been added to the attachment frame, do so now by clicking on the Attach File button. In the Attachment File Details dialog, check the eFile box. When you do this, the drop down box that contains the possible eFile types will be enabled so you can choose the applicable type. Note that this drop-down will vary from state to state based on the attachment types like we discussed earlier. Here, you will browse to the file and set what to attach it to, whether it will roll over and whether it will print. Last, check the box for eFile attachment. When you do this, the drop-down box that contains the possible eFile types will be enabled so you can choose the applicable type. Again, note that this drop-down will vary from state to state based on the attachment types like we discussed earlier. Each file type can only have a single file associated with it. For example, only one file can be designated as the state business page. When you are ready to e-file, click the e-file button on the return. When you get to the attachment tab, each attachment type for this state will be listed. If you previously set an attachment as an eFile attachment, it will automatically flow into the appropriate field in this dialog. If an attachment was not set ahead of time, you can browse to the file that you want to attach at this time by clicking the Browse button. You can browse to either your local computer network or to the Returns Attachment frame by clicking the arrow on the button. For some states, specific attachment types are required. These required attachments will be marked with an asterisk. For example, the state of Michigan requires attachments for the state business page, a Schedule T, retaliatory support, and other fees. Unlike the states mentioned so far, a few states do not specify specific attachment types that they want. Next, we will discuss those states. New Hampshire is an example of a state that allows the user to choose what attachment types to include. As mentioned previously, attachments can be set during the eFile process or they can be set ahead of time. To set an attachment ahead of time to be included with an eFiling, you will use the attachment frame. To do so, navigate to the attachment frame. If the attachment is already attached to your attachment frame, Select the file in the attachment frame and click the File Details button or right click the file in the attachment frame and select File Details. In the Attachment File Details dialog, check the eFile box. When you do this, the drop down box that contains the possible eFile types will be enabled. For this type of state, the option is always Any. If the attachment has not already been added to the attachment frame, do so now by clicking on the Attach File button. Here, you will browse to the file and set what to attach it to. 
whether it will roll over, and whether it will print. Last, you will check the box for e-file attachment. When you do this, the drop-down box that contains the possible e-file types will be enabled. For this type of state, the option is always any, and you can have multiple attachments set to any. When you are ready to e-file, click the e-file button on the return. When you get to the attachment tab, a list box will be shown. If you previously set an attachment as an e-file attachment, it will automatically flow into the list of attached files. If an attachment was not set ahead of time, you can browse to the file that you want to attach at this time by clicking the Browse button. You can browse to either your local computer network or to the Returns Attachment frame by clicking the appropriate button on the dialog. After successfully submitting an e-filing, a record of the e-file attachments included can be found in the confirmation email and the attachment frame. Upon successful submission of an e-filing, a transmission confirmation email will be sent to the contact email address for the form. Where the address comes from varies by the return. This email will include a list of the attachments that were included with the e-filing. Upon successful submission of an e-filing, a summary of the e-filing is automatically created in the e-filed subfolder in the returns attachment frame. The first page of this summary will include a list of the attachments that were included with the e-filing. Each attachment that is a PDF file type will also be copied to subsequent pages of the summary attachment. Thank you for watching.